This year's homecoming festivities were nothing short of spectacular, but not for the obvious reasons. This year our homecoming king is Zachary Briggs, who is running with the Disabilities Awareness Club with his girlfriend, Rebecca Jones. Though his story seems to be full of glitz and glamour now, it hasn't always been this way. We sat down with Zach's family to learn about his troubled start. Well, he was, um, he was born 13 weeks premature. He was born at 27 weeks and um, they had to take him emergency because I was bleeding and stuff. So they, they, um, they took him emergency C-section and then they, they really told us that he wasn't going to live 48 hours. So they told the whole family to come to the hospital if you want to see him because he's not going to make it. Most of his problems were just with breathing, that his lungs were extremely premature. The doctors kind of set his prognosis to not be very good, so they kind of forewarned or just warned us, I guess, about it being a um, kind of a lost cause, like he wasn't supposed to, you know, ever be able to do much for his life. When he was still in the hospital and the breathing machine that he was on, um, actually blew a hole in one of his lungs and his lung collapsed onto his heart and his heart stopped for six minutes. The doctor and well, the nurse kept coming into the holding room and asking us, you know, do you want us to continue resuscitation? And of course we were, you know, telling her, yes, please, please, you know, do whatever you can. And that is what we believe has caused his disability, that he had lack of oxygen to his brain during that time. Well, it's hard to say how it affects the family because I guess we're, he was the firstborn, so we're just kind of, we just kind of think that's just the way he is. So, um, at times I think it's a little hard for his brother because Zach's um, a, a tough act to follow, Zach being the oldest and his little brother's two years younger, so. I really don't, there's not much different between me and him, really. I mean, we're, we're the same, we're brothers, I mean not much different. I think of him as a regular person. I don't think of him as a, a special person, you know. I mean, he's he's regular in my life and that's how I look up to him. Zachary makes you look at life, you know, a little a little differently. He's uh really motivational, really. I mean, in my life he he pushes me through knowing the things that he pushes himself through that allows me to push myself through other obstacles. Uh, but his disability has has never impacted the family in a negative way. If anything, it's it's definitely a positive thing. It makes us all realize that life is short and that you have to appreciate what you get because he wasn't supposed to live 48 hours. So I feel like his disabilities are minute compared to what it could have been or what it could be. So and then when he started kindergarten, his kindergarten teacher the first day of school was like, oh, he needs to be in special classes. Um, he's always been in a self-contained unit. Um, some kids with special needs are able to be included in a regular class, um, and he's always needed to stay in special classes. He is considered to be intellectually disabled. Um, for a long time, he was developmentally delayed, but now that he's becoming an adult, because he's 18 now, they um, that's the new terminology, is intellectually disabled. A lot of the students that are in my class that have disabilities um, are more shy and keep to themselves or like to work by themselves, and Zachary's the opposite. Zach may be different, which has created a few problems for him in the past. However, the Polk County Public Schools has an amazing transition service program through the ESC department. We spoke with Diane Calloway, the director of the Exceptional Student Education Program, to have her describe the services available with students with special needs. Our goals here in Polk County is to move students from school to post-living outcomes. That is to help them to become successful adults. The transition program is, is better um, because it's teaching them more independent living skills versus teaching them how to read. Um, kindergarten books, which I'm not really sure. I mean, I teaching him how to read is a great thing, but I think at this point teaching him um, independent living skills and um, how to get a job and how to fill out job applications. And um, he learns a lot of uh, um, on-the-job sight words. 
My favorite thing is doing cooking. That's my favorite thing to do, like eating food and watching movies on Fridays and like, you know. Well, right now, uh, when students graduate from the transition program, uh, they are able to either become employed or they are able to go on into the post-secondary life on college campuses. Zach may be a little undetermined at the moment. Right now, he wants to be a Publix bagger. The Transition Service Department will help him out with his future goals. Zach's goals this year was to become Homecoming King, and who would have ever thought it would have turned out the way it did? When Homecoming Week started, we got, we got into it a little bit late because um, I guess she decided at the last minute that that Zachary and Rebecca being in the Disabilities Awareness Club could run for homecoming. We never ever in a million years thought that he would win or make it into court or anything. I had no idea that, you know, he might actually make court. And when he made court, I was, I was truly surprised. I, was, I had no idea he would ever make court. And then, you know, going on to make king, that, it, that's really inspirational to me. I think it's a, it's a pat on the back for the kids at George Jenkins, you know, to accept you know, a, a special student, I guess you call him, or a, as a normal kid and a friend, and you know, he's got friends, normal kids that want to hang out with him and be his friend and come over and, you know, take him out to lunch and just hang out with him. Pretty fun, I mean, I love my friends here and made up some new guys and so it's pretty cool. Uh, we were sitting there waiting for him. We saw him go across the track and stuff. We were, I was sitting there waiting for him and they called off the queen and they started calling off the runners up for the Kings. And as it came down to it, I heard, you know, um, them go down to the second runner up and then the first runner up. And then I hadn't heard his name yet. So when they called his name for homecoming King, I was, I, I jumped as high as I could, I swear. What a thrill, what a thrill that we actually had a student that was embraced by every other student so well that they felt that he was worthy to be the homecoming king and they voted for him to be that king. It felt pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy and everybody was like really excited. I mean, they were all screaming and yelling for me. And well, there's, you know, some people that don't understand his capabilities and who undermined him and stuff. But I mean, he's, he's, he can do everything that we can do and I feel like He's perfectly capable of doing everything in life. I think um, Zachary does have some disabilities, but I, I feel like he doesn't lack anything in the social department. His relationships with people are, are um, greater than any person who's a social butterfly could hope to have. He's, um, if you know him, you love him. He's that kind of person. His teachers have always loved him and enjoyed having him in class and um, his friends he has a lot of good friends through special olympics and um, he's got a really sweet little girlfriend named rebecca he does a lot of um, he plays a lot of sports within the special olympics he um, plays golf every wednesday night and is involved in a tournament once a year through special olympics and he does basketball, softball, track. Yeah, he swam one year, but he didn't like wearing the pajamas. <laughs> so, and he's a very loyal person, and he's a good kid. Truly an underdog story. Zachary Briggs was one of the first exceptional education students at a mainstream Polk County High School to be voted for Homecoming King, which says quite a bit about the quality of students here at TJ. Our homecoming is not a popularity contest, but given to the student who deserves it the most. We'd like to say thanks to the Briggs family and of course Zach for allowing us to tell this amazing story. We all wish you the best in the future and we all respect the King. I'm Ryan Elliott reporting for ENN.